Many of us on a spiritual journey have come to discover that we have certain abilities that aren't spoken of openly in the world. These abilities can be both exciting and frightening for some. In this video, we're going to talk about some common empath abilities and how to master them. I'm Lara, the Tigress of the Light. I'm a spiritual mentor, international bestselling author of multiple books, channeler and developer of Fractaline Healing. Common traits of an empathic person include feeling and understanding people or others, feelings, the ability to see someone's point of view, even when it doesn't make logical sense, exercising mindfulness, sometimes to the extreme, have a strong sense of intuition. A common expression to describe much of what um, what you could be feeling is that you could feel like you literally stand in another person's shoes. You have that much understanding. Of course, if you search the internet, you will find a long list of empathic traits. The truth is, if you found yourself here, it's probably because you think you're a sensitive. And you probably are. In all honesty, humans are sensitive creatures. In some cultures or upbringings, these sensitivities were downplayed or otherwise suppressed. In other cases, various forms of trauma can heighten one's empathic abilities as a form of survival. For others, they're just plain sensitive because these senses weren't turned down throughout their life. Wherever you find yourself is perfectly okay. We all experience various forms of sensitivity, and it's important that we don't compare our sensitivities to anyone else. As a human, you are sensitive, and you will have experienced events and had an upbringing with family, friends, school, and so on that will have shaped your sensitivity up until this point. From here on, you can take control of your sensitivities and learn how to master them. The trait that tends to catch most people's attention when they first Google what is an empath is the line that reads, tends to absorb the emotions and energies of others. Now, there's a list of crystals you can go out and buy. I love crystals. <laughs> Lord knows I have plenty and continue to acquire them. But the issue with this statement is leading you to give your power away and offering you a simple situation which you can go out and buy. Saying that an empath absorbs the emotions and energies of others is accurate. We all do. But it's actually how the chakra system was designed to work. Where there is an issue is when we have no control over how much of the energy we are willing to absorb or interact with. This is the single most important issue for a sensitive person. Many people are plagued with this issue. It's actually a boundary issue. So if someone is having troubles navigating crowds, gets exhausted easily from hanging out with people, feels overwhelmed by another, by others' emotions, and so on, there are two tips that I can offer you. First is, strengthen your aura. The second one, do inner work to create stronger boundaries. Until you feel strong in your energy and boundaries, it will be important that you pay attention to your energy levels. It is always important to be mindful anyway as part of good self-care, but what you should find is as you develop a stronger energy field or aura that isn't quite so porous and breachable, you might find your energy or stamina increasing. It will be easier for you to be in crowds to tolerate stressful situations and so on. Fractaline healing and heart math techniques, as well as grounding techniques, qigong, breathwork, and certain styles of yoga are all examples of exercises that will assist in strengthening your auric field. Inner work is something that you may need to go to a qualified professional, depending upon your specific situation or if you are able to do a percentage of the work on your own. For most, having assistance is important as we often can't see our blind spots. They're blind for a reason. 
There are energy healers such as myself who offer shadow work sessions or inner child sessions, theta healing and other techniques and healing modalities that can help with these sort of energies. Remember, you are a sensitive being and you already have gifts and talents just waiting for you to focus on and enhance. The way to do this is through healing and increasing your own energy. I encourage you to follow your interests, what catches your eye or speaks to your heart. This is often the best way to discover what will work best for you. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and useful. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and remember to subscribe and hit that bell so that you know when we have new videos coming out, which is about once a week. We have videos of channeling light language. We have these informational videos, such as the one you've just watched. And also don't forget, we have international best-selling books on light codes, light language. These are healing books. They take you right through a healing journey, which is absolutely beautiful. They are so profound, you guys. You can charge crystals, you can charge your food, Food and water you can put them up on your wall and let that energy radiate into your space there really is so much that you can do with these light codes and they're just right there in the book along with some beautiful messages and meditations and ways to work with them to give you some ideas other than your amazing intuition which is going to guide you perfectly anyway if you feel a resonation with me, please consider visiting my website. Link will be below. We do work one-on-one -on -one with people and we offer workshops for that cutting edge, amazing and powerful healing modality of fractaline healing. This is a meditative process that takes you deep into the quantum realms of unlimited possibilities Think of it as a container that's governed by love. There's very powerful beings that govern this space so that you can go in there and amp up your energy, manifest, heal, explore, connect in with various parts of yourselves, guides, Kashuk records, like twin flame work if you're if you need to do any of that work ancestral lines is like whatever you need to do there's space fit for it in fractaline healing so if you've have some techniques that you're already really good at bring them into fractaline healing and it's just going to amplify it otherwise if you haven't learned those techniques come on into fractaline healing and spirit will show you how this is how profound and amazing this system is and there's multiple layers to it and you just go deeper and deeper and deeper and it's super cool so i do invite you to check that out link will be in the in the comment box below in the description box below and if you have any topic suggestions for these videos please leave your comment in this in the comment section below or you can email me at info at lightcodesbylara.com until next time i wish you a beautiful and amazing day all blessings will find your energy or stamina stamina stan stamina